Hi, Candy Corner peoples. Um, I'm the Saturday person. Uh, you can call me Rosalie. Um, so I'm really, I feel horrible and I'm sick and I look bad, so please just bear with me here. Uh, so I'll basically be doing candy tutorials, um, candy tours, tips, stuff like that. Uh, Excuse the messy room. <laughs> so basically, I guess I'll just show you some candy. Um, I'm pretty bad at like introducing myself, so yeah. Oh, well, I, I guess I should probably say something about me first. Um, I'm pretty well known as the girl who's freakishly in love with Pikachu, but. I mean, it, this is true, I, I do love Pikachu, but I just want to make it clear that I'm not one of the kind of fangirls that likes Pikachu because he's cute and the most obvious character of the whole Pokemon world. I just, I watched the show when I was a kid and it made me fall in love with him, but in the games I do know he's not the best character, so yeah. This is the first mask I ever got. I didn't make it, but I know how to make masks, and I know how to make this one. But my friend made it for me, and she used different types of beads. And it's obviously a Pikachu mask, and I was Pikachu for Halloween. So I wore this on Halloween, and I have another one, but I'm not sure where I put it. Um, so yeah. And, uh, I'm, I know I probably look like I'm 10 or 12 or whatever. I'm 14, um, when I'm not sick, I, and, you know, I actually try to, like, look nice, I usually get that I'm, like, maybe 15, 16, so, this is not what I normally look like, uh, this is a cage cuff, it's MLP, I don't really watch MLP, um, you know, My Little Pony. Uh, I mean, I've seen a few episodes, so I'm not a Pegasus sister, but I have full respect for bronies and Pegasus sisters, and I think that it's really freakishly adorable. I do love all the characters. This is a toilet <laughs> sparkle themed cage cuff, and it's really cute. I got it from a trade, and I'm, I don't know how to make these, but I thought I'd show it because it's one of my favorite pieces of candy. It's really big, and it goes up to, like, here. Uh, this is my Pikachu Yan Cat cuff. I'm showing you guys a bunch of stuff that I did not make. I should probably move on to stuff I did make. Okay. So, here is a Pokemon cuff that I made, actually, for my boyfriend, but I can't send it to him. Which makes me really sad. But I will find a way, because... I made it for him, so it's going to him. And, yeah, I ran out of red at the very last row, so I just put pink on it, but he says he doesn't mind, so that's cool. Um, this is, I forgot what they're called. They're called Yoohoo, I guess. Yoohoo's. Um, he was like this. And I forgot what I named him. He had a really cute name. But anyways, he's on this really awesome long necklace, and I'm trading him away right now. Which makes me kind of sad, because I really do love it. Because he's so soft. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. And, uh... Okay, I didn't make this, but I feel like it's worth showing. And, uh... This is my Pikachu tie, and, um, people who are not candy kids generally like to say that it looks wrong. Well, bleh. <laughs> I think it's really cute. I got it from a trade with a girl named Sarah, and, um, hopefully I'll be linking my account, like, my main, um, YouTube in the description, where you can see a lot of my opening videos and stuff. And, uh, yeah, but this is my first candy tie, and I need to learn, I mean, I, I know how to make them, I just haven't made one yet. So there's that. 
Uh, I can make mostly anything. There's a few, like, there's a couple cups I don't know how to make yet. Like the cage cup, for example, I'm just kind of lazy. But I always make perlers, and this one I'm actually sending to somebody, uh, Bridget. <laughs> and it's obviously Pikachu, and I don't usually trade away my Pikachu stuff, so if you wanted to do a trade with me, and it's for Pikachu, um, I might be willing to make you perler stuff and like, maybe, okay, this one's broken, I got it from a trade, sadly it broke, but peyotes and stuff like that, but I'm not exactly willing to trade off stuff like this, because honestly, it's, I'm just kind of mean, <laughs> but I still love you guys, and I'm, you can always message my main channel if you want to do a trade, um, my only rule for people on YouTube, unless you're well-known, sort of, um, is I generally have to have you guys send first. I'm not a scammer. <laughs> you can ask anybody. I don't scam people at all. Um, I've been scammed multiple times, and it's really depressing, and I feel a little bit less uncomfortable trading with people on YouTube for some reason. So, you know, if you want to trade, you have to send first. So, you yeah. know. Uh... Okay, this has a cuff in it. This cuff should not be in here. I didn't make it, but my friend made it, and it's amazing and beautiful. Obviously, Pikachu style stuff. This is all my singles and my doubles, and there's so much crap in here. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not crap, it's all beautiful. But, and honestly, I couldn't possibly show you everything. Oh, except I will show you this. This is not. This is also a cup that probably shouldn't have been there. But um, my goal was to bring in a few people in my at my school, mostly, into candy because there's no candy kids um, except for one girl named Emma, who I love, and she's amazing, and I only got to meet her once. She lives, like, five minutes away from me. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, other than that, I don't know of any other candy kids around here. And so I figured, might as well get some at school, and it'd be pretty cool. I go to this really tiny little school. Anyways, I got my friend Grace into candy. And she doesn't do trading or anything like that, but she just likes to make them. And for Christmas, she made me this adorable 2D cuff. And I don't even know how to make 2D cuffs, because I, I didn't even really know that there were 2D cuffs until she told me. And I was like, whoa! It says, it has my name on it, my real name, Rachel. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I love it. It's really big and comfy. Um, so, you know, there's plant stuff. And, uh, just because I love this cuff, it's Rainbow Dash. Yes. Um, I, I don't want this video to be too long, but I want to show you guys so much. Alright, I'm going to try and wrap it up. Let me point you guys up. Mm. Just bring you guys with me. Whatever. Excuse this one, Mike. Still cleaning up from the holidays because I had my family here. And when my niece and nephew are here, my room turns into hell. Okay. Here's a cup I got from a tray really quickly. It's a rainbow unicorn cuteness thing. I love it. It's really big and comfy. Anyways. I love making purses, and here is one of my purses. This is the second purse I ever made. Ah, it's a Pokeball purse, and the back is a Pokeball, but the flap is a rainbow, and I made it one row too short, but it's okay, because it actually kind of makes it have more room, so it's all good. And I started my first, this is my first panel, actually no. This was my first panel, <laughs> and I'm pretty proud of it. It's like, uh, just a bunch of random stuff, <laughs> but I'm proud of it, and I made it to go on this, so it would be like rainbow in the back and pokeball in the front, and I made it for my friend, but it broke, so I have to remake it. <laughs> and, oh, here's that other mask I was talking about. 
my friend Alyssa made it for me, and I love her. And, yeah, I've got two Pikachu cuffs. Or not cuffs, masks, whatever. Um, yeah, I started making a wallet. It's a, uh, ball. I think this is the Compe ball. It's a Pokeball, and it's, I don't know. These are, uh, it's made out of mini beads, and so it took a long ass time, but worth it. This is, I'm sure you guys have all seen the, uh, cute, uh, Pikachu cuff that kind of looks like this. Um, well, I took that pattern and made it, and then I thought, hey, why not do one from you? So, I made one from you, and my boyfriend always likes to joke that it's, um, looks retarded. <laughs> but, I made the pattern, and I still like it, and I'm training it, and, uh, yeah, he likes to go, to her I'm you, I'm the 151st Pokemon. <sighs> oh, these are some of my favorite singles. I got them in my first in-person trade. And, um, honestly, I was so happy about that. I did it at my friend's 16th birthday party. <laughs> but that was when I met Emma, which is the girl who lives around here. And there's more. There's, uh, yeah, she just, she, like, it was really awesome of her, and I made her a cuff, and then she gave me a bunch of singles, and I was like, oh, oh. and I gave her a bunch of singles, too. Oh, and this is my fatty rainbow necklace, but my friend made it for me. Honestly, I don't really like to keep stuff I make, because I think that training it is more fun. But that's just how I am. And, uh, I'm gonna end this video in, like, two seconds. But, um, this is a trading package. Oops. Popped it. Whatever. And, uh, I came up with this little design. I mean, I'm not sure if anybody else has it. They probably have, actually. But, you know, I didn't see it from anybody else, so. It's, uh, Pac-Man, Ghost, and Love. And, uh, it's just a peyote. It's, uh, three parts. So you make two Pac-Man and you make, or not Pac-Man, ghosts, I mean, and then you make the heart and you stitch them together. Then you add a nice long necklace and it looks, oh, dare I take my head off? I don't think so. <laughs> um, I'll just, I'm actually trading this, but I don't think she minds if I'm just showing it in the video, so. Meryl, it's really cute. And, um... I'm pretty proud of it. I have a lot of these, actually. I'm not sure where they are. I think I traded most of them already. Oops. Forgot. Um, but, you know, stuff. <laughs> okay, well, I don't want to bore you guys anymore. I'm too ADHD, honestly. Uh, have a great day, everybody, and, um, I... We'll be seeing you guys again on Saturday, and I will be doing my best not to miss any Saturdays, because, uh, I am in a musical at my school right now, uh, Little Shop of Horrors, and I can't, obviously I can't miss rehearsals or, uh, obviously not the play nights or anything, so I, I, uh, if I am going to be missing a Saturday, I think somebody else on the group will take over for me, but as of right now, for the next week and a couple weeks, I think I should be good. Good, good, good. So yeah, bye, and player and stuff. <laughs>